Hello everyone, my name is Zishan. Uh, in this video, I will demonstrate how to upload and download the images in ADF application. And uh, in this example, I will just uh, demonstrate uh, the how to use the input file component. So for this, I've prepared example here, like in the detail stamp of the ADF table component, we have this image component and this input file component. and uh, Whenever user select any image and press the process button, the image rename to the employee with the employee number ID. So, for example, I show you how this example is working. Example will go to another department, and I'm employee number two o one. There's no image. I will press choose file. I have couple of images here. You can see the name is different here open and process and this file successfully uploaded and this file is here and actually this file copies into the server with the under the images folder here you can see with the employee id dot ping so i'm not storing these images in the blob uh, column so we'll we'll do in the another example for in this example this from client to server you can copy the image by using this process and uh, this will store on the server so how you have following uh, you have to perform few steps example so first step is to create images folder in your uh, in your root application for example i have created here the images folder here you can see no images because it's on the client right now so this uh, this images folder actually store all the images and uh, we'll create a this image item under under the detail stamp how you can create i'm not going in the details i will just explain how to actually created you can see this is the table facets this is table component here you can see and the table facets under table facets we have detail stamp and under detail stamp i have image component and the source is actually slash images slash row id dot ping so it will read dynamically every employee id match the every employee id image and uh, it is surrounded by the AF Golink component. Actually, this will allow us to download on the click this image. For example, I am when I click on this image, so I can download this image like this. So this uh, AF uh, Golink component is doing this same procedure. Yeah. The important component is this AF. Uh, uh, input file component here you can see the value uh, in the backend bin I will explain how to do this and we have a command button which process the this command button will uh, call the method in the backend bin so what uh, next step is uh, you have to set the use upload property true of the AF form component here you can see when you drop uh, input file component it's automatically set to true here you can go if form and you use upload equal true so it will allow to download uh, to use this component actually another next step is to create a manage bin class which perform the upload process and here I created a manage bin class. It actually you have to define a upload file type variable and the getter setters methods. And uh, there, uh, this is the main uh, method actually process upload, which actually process on the uh, on the command component. So here to get the file actually this is facet con context object 
and this servlet context object actually it returns the you can uh, by using this you can get the path where the application is actually uh, the path on the server so here the full uh, variable of string we have get real path which is taking the root path of this and this actually reading uh, uh, the, the image uh, actually in the buffer and this is writing here I'm doing what is uh, this is the main root path I'm creating file and uh, you can see this image directory and this is my images folder and I'm calling the current employee uh, ID uh, from uh, attribute binding so this is actually my method of current employee ID which is just re simple calling the attribute binding from the page definition and then this file is writing to the location actually we got from here and then the simple message is coming uh, successfully uploaded this net main uh, step actually also you have to perform is the value will be uh, of this input component will be your this file type actually this uh, and and the action button will simply call the process upload method and next thing is actually uh, you have to enable the security settings in the weblogic.xml file in the view controller project you have to create this file by you like new on the view controller project and go to deployment descriptors and select weblogic deployment descriptors and select the weblogic.xml it's i have already that's why it is disabled this file actually contains some configurations and here in the container section you have to take this enable rail path result for archive web app and uh, then run this application so it will work as uh, i have sh shown you for example actually by when I run this application in the integrated uh, environment the, so it copies to this my documents so you can see this path actually when you deploy you can see where the, your application actually deployed so <coughs> you can see now we have 200 and 201 dot ping now I will upload 202 the session is expired let's refresh it <coughs> okay we'll go for two and uh, for example this And you can see we have now 202.png here automatically so you can download the sample code and if any questions feel free to comment thanks for watching have a nice day bye